very proud that uh, this kind of artist represent Israel. It was like a symbol of freedom. But not everyone was as pleased. Conservative elements in Israel were infuriated by the diva's unholy past, and this led to fears for her life. In Jerusalem this year, it was her job to hand the, tro the trophy across to the winner. <laughs> and she was so busy, you know, fooling around, that she fell over. Now, as soon as she fell over, Mossad, or the Israeli security, or whoever was in charge, thought she'd been shot. So everybody swarmed around her, flung themselves upon her in case she'd be shot again. And the poor winner, the Swedish girl, never actually got the award at all. Shalom, that's Israel, 22 appearances, winners three times, 119 points. An Israeli woman who used to be a man winning the Eurovision Song Contest? What are the chances of that happening, eh? Or this, come to that. This fantastic interval entertainment was served up in 1963 by the BBC. Once again, licence payers getting value for their money. Well, it's been a long day for Strahan. What a lovely shot!